Every Wednesday night, Dave and Amy Tamarans of Sickler's Bike and Sport Shop host a mountain bike ride through Moon Lake State Forest Recreation Area in Hunlock Creek. The ride is free of charge and for most experience levels, and they're always looking for more people to join the ride. The Wednesday night ride has been probably going about 10 years now. It was started by one of the local guys, just really wanted to get together with a bunch of different people. We have a bunch of different skill levels here. I've been trying to keep it going. 6 p.m. starts pretty much when the weather breaks in the spring and goes until we can't move through the snow in the winter. We have a diverse group of people. There's uh, beginner mountain bikers all the way to experts. Uh, we try and keep the ride together. Everybody uh, knows the faster guys know they're going to be waiting and the slower guys know that we're going to be waiting for them. So there's something to work for. Even though some mountain biking experience is needed, the group is very welcoming to newcomers and everyone is game to lend a helping hand. The cool thing about our group rides here at Moon Lake is we start usually with a core group, but each week more and more people are showing up that haven't been here before. Uh, the best thing about it is everyone's pretty friendly, welcoming, you know, encouraging is the big thing. Uh, a lot of people are intimidated to come out on group rides, especially when they know the core riders, let's call them, are the ones that are there every week that have the expert skills. But the thing people don't know about those core riders are we are super encouraging. We want to see new faces. We want to build this community. When you get involved in this mountain biking community, you find it's almost like a second family. We find ourselves hanging out at non-bike related events. Uh, contacting each other via social media, cell phones, uh, group parties. You know, it's, it's more than just a bike ride. It really develops our community, brings people together away from the outside drama. It's a stress-free environment. You know, you deal with stress all day at work. You come here to relieve that stress. The people that, that, that I'm surrounded by, they're just, everybody's just like real friendly. Um, they help each other. If you have any questions about your bike, everybody's willing to, to help and to, to even show you things on how to take on new trails or be more confident on your bike. I moved here about seven or eight years ago from Nassau County, Long Island, and um, I had moved here for somebody and didn't really know anybody except for him, and he was into mountain biking and said, show up at Tuesday night uh, for a Francis Slocum ride, and I showed up, and I've kind of been going to Tuesday night, then Wednesday night at Moon, and Friday night at someone else's house, and since then I've just been meeting different people and I met Dave and Amy and the Sicklers people and I mean it's it's a great community I started road biking and it's kind of just building my friends and my community not only is the ride a great form of exercise but a real biking community has formed with this Wednesday night group for me it's social I know a lot of people like to try and go fast but for me it's just getting out here outside with my friends and doing a little better myself each week. Every Wednesday we meet at the first pavilion on the left inside the main gate. Quarter to six we try and get out of here about ten after six and get rolling. Uh, it's usually about an hour and a half to two hour ride. Um, you don't have to sign up you just got to show up and ride and just bring a smile on a bicycle. For the Great Outdoors, Aaron Dugan. We're at North American Warhorse in Dunmore with John Knowles again. And John, we're gonna talk about ATVs today. Mm -hmm. uh, try to get, we wanna get out there, we wanna have a good time. What kind of ATVs do you have? Well, we have every manufacturer here at Warhorse. We have the Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Polaris, and K&M. So we have every manufacturer that you can, you can dream of. Uh, you know, if you prefer a certain one, mm -hmm. we have you covered here. And for every application, we have ones with big snorkels on them if you're getting in the mud. We have ones where just, you know, pretty standard for work performance only. What are some of the sizes that people might be interested in? Well, you know, it's much different. You yeah. know, when they were first kind of making the ATVs, a 400 size ATV mm -hmm. was kind of big. You know, now that we have them all the way down from a 250 all the way up to a 1000. Uh, standard in there is probably about a 570 up to a 750, um, which we have a lot of, and those are probably, you know, some, more of our best sellers. So we have every size. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you get on one that you can handle. Uh, so, you know, it's important that you know your riding ability and uh, if you can handle that CC. Side-by-sides are really popular now, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. You know, they're much easier to drive, I think. Mm -hmm. um, just about anyone, if you can drive a car, you can drive a side-by-side -side for the most part. Um, they're a lot of fun. You can take a lot more people with you, uh, and they're really, really getting popular. Accessories for all of it? Oh, absolutely. Hundreds. Uh, you can do just about anything on them. You can put hardtop roofs on them, mm -hmm. doors, hard doors, uh, you know, just the mesh doors coolers, uh, gun racks, anything you could pr probably dream of you could put on one of these. And you service them right here too? Absolutely. Uh, you know, you can make an appointment, you can call if you have one already, 
we'll still service it for you. And every vehicle, if you purchase here at Wars, gets a full service before it gets to your door. So tell us what we have right here. Well, this is the Polaris Ranger XP1000. Comes in the Polaris Pursuit Bodywork and Camouflage. Uh, it's got three modes, performance standard and work mode. So okay. performance mode, if you're trying to you know, really maybe get on the trail a little bit with mm -hmm. this. A standard mode, which kind of offers that precise control if you're just doing some work. And then the work mode, which is exactly what it sounds like. So. Oh. Okay, uh, how about some of the dimensions and you know, if, you're, if I want to buy it? Oh, absolutely. It's a 999cc engine. It's okay. going to come with electric power steering. Uh, very powerful and uh, you know, very strong machine. It's a little narrow too, it's not too, too wide. It's obviously very long. This is the crew, which offers another seat in the back there. Uh, a lot of, lot of storage, uh, you can put coolers in the back, you can put gun racks on this. You can really accessorize this thing for your hunting or fishing or anything you're doing outside. And what, it looks like it seats about six or six so? Seat. Yeah, it sits uh, six. These are three bench seats. Bench seat in the front, bench seat in the back. And you got a big, big time uh, trunk back there. A lot of storage in the back there that can haul a thousand pounds and this will tow another two. So John, it kind of has a feel of a SUV or oh. something like that because you could charge your phones and for storage, right? Oh, absolutely. These are almost like cars sometimes yeah. that can really get out in the woods and things. So they got AC uh, sockets there for uh, you to charge your phone or any electronics that you have. Put a hard top roof on this, doors to really enclose if it's getting a little cold yeah. or chilly out there. So um, anything that you want to do, you, you can do it. Okay, North American War Horse, easy to find in Dunmore. Oh, absolutely. Right off 81, right off 84, right where they intersect there. Uh, get off right on Dunham Drive. Come in and see us. Be happy to have you sit in one of these and uh, see how you like it. And the website is nawarhorse.com. You can also go to our Facebook page at North American Warhorse. Cool. Thanks for the tour. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate you guys coming out. Coming up next, taking aim at Ladies' Night.